Hello everyone. Today I was going to make um, another video about uh, INFJs. Um, but yesterday I had an interaction with a commentator in another YouTuber channel. And um, that commentator, uh, I don't know if it is a man or a woman, but um, let me have a glimpse in his or her life. And um, that person's life is just, in a way, such a lesson for everyone. You, please excuse my cat here. She is very busy looking at the window and I, I have drawn the curtain, sorry. And um, recommended me this movie, which I will put the name of it down below. It is a glimpse of a mother that was a sociopath with a huge, if you, say, if you could say, a uh, um, criminal mind, a grandiose uh, sociopath or narcissist that um, led the son or her son to a path of destruction. In that movie, the mother is the predator, not only a predator to others, but to her own sons. And um, in that movie, it is pretty clear that uh, the mother is also a sexual predator, a pedophile against her own son. Uh, YouTubers here in the channel of the narcissistic survivor community uh, they show us a glimpse of mothers, especially mothers, uh, oh, excuse me, <laughs> that misbehave, cause a lot of trouble, cause a lot of pain to the children. But they are the commentators. The commentators that allows us to have a little glimpse in their lives. The one that comes for answers to the narcissistic survivor community. They do not have channels, but the channels are the YouTuber channels that allows them to have a little voice there, allows them to comment and allows us to have a little glimpse in their lives. Sometimes the glimpse we have is one that causes us horror and uh, make us think about is our pain just any comparable the pain that we see sometimes as a glimpse in our commentators or in the commentators of uh, the channels like Fee or Honey Badger or um, Fight Narcissism or uh, Final Three or from, from Narcissism or any, any other channel. And um, <coughs> make us think about how important it is that um, we listen or this bigger channel than myself, of course, and I do not belong to that uh, um, narcissistic survivor community as my parents were good and all that. But, I mean, for the people who actually have an example of a mother abuse or a father and how important it is that we listen 
or they listen, and we all listen to our commentators. Sometimes these commentators use humor, but they allow us a glimpse to the suffering. And, um, well, today I was going to make another video, nothing to do with this, but um, uh, as an INFJ, uh, I'm a sort of person who, who believe or used to believe that everyone is, uh, is the same, everyone has more or less the same experiences. You know, I, I, I used to live in dreamland, you, you could say. And um, when I listen to commentators, either in my channel or either in some other channels, it's like a wake-up call. A wake-up call to horrendous, really horrendous suffering. Um, these commentators, they, they do not have channels. Uh, probably they think it's their story is too, actually too horrible to be said. We should listen carefully and understand. And I'm talking to or about other people channels, you know, that have power. They have power to, to help, to help others, which I call the wounded healers. They have so much power. They have power to help others with their words, with their own histories or stories. And they should all, um, how could I say, they should all know how important they are to commentators, how their example can help others. It's just uh, my wake-up call was to actually have an interaction with a commentator that let me see or allowed me to have a glimpse to what their life was or used to be. So, really is to say to all the channels out there how important you are. How important. Use your power wisely. Because you truly can make a difference in people's life. And that's all for today. Thank you.